Hey YouTube, Kira Twig here, bringing you all an update to my Code Talker Yu-Gi-Oh deck profile for post Maze of Millennia. We actually got a few random cards used by Yusaku in the Yu-Gi-Oh Vrains series, in which it gave draw power and then just protection additionally to his many different Code Talker Link monsters that he would summon out during his duels. One being a spell for the draw power, and the other one being a trap for the protection power. And he also at one point did run you know transaction rollback i would say it's more of a situational card depending on the deck and not really a justified one in you know code talkers for the main deck so just focused on the other new spells that focus more on the actual code talkers and cyber monsters for draw power to run with this deck so let's go ahead and get started with the deck profile now the one thing that i decided while making this deck is with the you know recent ban lists you know, restricting uh, Math Max even more with the ban for one of their most important monsters. Decided to cut them out of the deck completely and just focus more on the coders with more of the generic cyber support for this deck profile. So for our main deck monsters, we're running three copies of Micro Coder. If a cyber monster you control would be used as link material for a Code Talker monster, this card in your hand can also be used as material. It would send from the hand or field to the graveyard as material for the link summon of a Code Talker monster. You can either add one sign it spell or trap from your deck to your hand or if this card is on the field you can add one level four cyber monster instead so being able to add a sign it spell or trap sadly means that we cannot add our new trap or spell because the new spell is called drastic draw and the trap is called code hack there's no sign it in either of the names but still being able to search out many of our other ones like our sign it mining or even our counter trap sign it conflict you have plenty of search available to you thanks to microcoder we also run two copies of code generator having the same setup for summon being able to use it from your hand as link material for a code talker monster and also with this card being able to send a cyber monster with 1200 or less attack from your deck to your graveyard but if it was on the field you can add that card instead you have send power for cards like dotscaper which can then be special summoned onto the field when sent to the graveyard via a effect or from the field to begin with so code generator can just help for more graveyard setup for your different cyber monsters also the one copy of code exporter and the one copy of code radiator same card effects as code generator and microcoder being able to be used from your hand as link material for a code talker with your code exporter being able to target a level four or lower cybers in your graveyard add to your hand or if it was on the field special summon it instead so more recycle material from the graveyard while we're running you know less copies and then being able to weaken your opponent's monsters with your code radiator being able to do two monsters instead if it was on the field. For some of the other three ofs that we run in the deck, also running three copies of Lady Debug, it's just an easy searcher and can help to set up an easy link to play. Just normal summoning out Lady Debug, then searching out your microcoder means that you have your link to play right there because then you can use the microcoder from your hand. Lady Debug can also search out our code generator. So we have another search if we have microcoder in our hand already to use. And then also the three copies of Firewall Defensor and the one copy of Firewall Guardian. I do like the Firewall Defensor setup. If it's sent to the graveyard as material for the Link Summon of a Cyber Monster, you can Special Summon one Firewall Monster from your deck, except for Defensor. This is where Guardian comes into play. You can have Special Summon for the turn. You activate this effect except Cyber Monsters. And if a Firewall Monster you control will be destroyed by a card effect, you can banish this card from your graveyard instead, giving you more plays for your different Firewall Dragons that we run, like Neo. Tempest terahertz as well for the different attributes that we run in the deck additionally for all the different code talker monsters and then guardian having more of a defensive play but still just being another target to summon out on the field with defensor also and also the three copies of Parallel Exceed. Just when you go for the link play, you can then summon out Parallel Exceed and then grab another copy from your deck, extending more and more of your plays for the special summons. And all you do is reduce the level of the one special summon to four. So if you wanted to run any rank four Exceeds monsters for the Cyber stack, you could easily go into them with Parallel Exceed. We have the rank three Cybers reminder instead since I took out the Albertian for the Math Mech lineup. But that was always an option when we had the deck 
pack, but now focusing more on the level three monsters for the rank three plays. And then also the two copies of Balancer Lord and the two copies of Widget Kid for just more extension for cards from the hand. Being able to special summon when you normal summon or special summon Widget Kid on the field, one additional monster. Two additionally, just grab your coder monsters from your hand, summon them out onto the field, and then being able to use their field effects instead of having to rely on their hand effects for that additional summon. Balancer Lord having an ability banishment as well. If it's banished to special summon a level four lower monster from your hand, which comes in handy when we go for the sign at backdoor play with it, but then also just being able to pay a thousand life points to gain an additional normal summon with it as well. With the last of our main deck monsters being the one copy of Dotscaper and the one Cyber Sage. Cyber Sage helps with the fusion setup, which we also do run the one copy of D Save Worm as well in the deck for the additional fusion play of just needing a Cyber Ritual, uh, Fusion Sync, or Link Monster, and one additional Cyber Monster. So Cyber Sage fits that one spot since you can just fusion summon with this card during your main phase. And then Dotscaper just being another card to easily special summon out on the field when it's sent to the graveyard or when it is banished, being able to only use each once per duel. And now moving on to the spells. For our one of, we're just running one copy of Drastic Draw. You banish all monsters you control, minimum two, to draw three cards. You cannot normal or special summon the turn you activate this, except for Cyber's monsters. You can activate one Drastic Draw per turn. This comes in handy the most, I would say. Not so much early game, but when you have like resources that you can get onto the field, but your extra deck is more or less drained of some of the resources you may need to go for. So then you can use Drastic Draw to draw into hopefully something better to use than just a two monster setup that you can no longer use to fully utilize with the extra deck. And then also the three copies of Cyanet Backdoor, targeting a Cyber monster you can control. Banish it, and if you do add a Cyber monster from your deck to your hand, whose attack is lower than that monster's original attack, during your next standby phase, returning that monster banished by this effect. So you have the Balancer Lord play, or just being able to, if your opponent were to destroy one of your Cyber monsters you control, chaining Cyanet Backdoor to then grab another monster that is lower in attack than that other monster, while still being able to keep that other monster as well. Also three copies of Cyanet Mining for more search power depending on the cyber monster and also potentially being able to set up other cards in the graveyard as well for then for you to make use of either you get the banish option by protecting your firewall monsters with cards like firewall defense or using cards like dotscaper as well for all of those plays i also run the two copies of Cyanet codec just being more search power for your different code talker cards being able to add you know add a monster of the same attribute depending on the code talker monster you summon out so with the varying attributes we run you have search power for all of them you can't add the same attribute but you could potentially go for all six different attributes with sign at codec in, in you know all in one turn continuing your monster search depending on the one you need having all the different code monsters in the form of wind earth water and also dark to add thanks to this card also also, one Cyanet Optimization for more protection when your Code Talker monsters attack, and an additional Normal Summon on top of all that as well. And then also the one copy of Cyanet Rollback, targeting one of your banished Cyrus monsters. Special Summon it, and during your main phase, if your life points are 2,000 or less, you can banish this card from your graveyard to target two of your banished Cyrus monsters and add them to your hand. So more Special Summon resource power, but also a Cyanet card that can be added off of Microcoder. Two copies of World Legacy Succession, because we have plenty of Link monsters as well, so just more extension from the graveyard with those arrows and then also the one copy of Cyanet Ritual because we need a ritual spell obviously to summon out our Cyber Sage and lastly the one Monster Reborn on top of the World Legacy Succession just an easier way to special summon our monsters back onto the field. And then as for the traps, I run one copy of the new code hack. Was, you know, debating running two of this. Cyber's Link Monsters you control cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects once per turn. During the battle phase, if your monster battles an opponent's monster, you can activate this effect that the monster's attack becomes zero to the end of this turn. Also for that battle, monsters cannot be destroyed, and neither player takes battle damage. That monster, the opponent's monster, must be face up on the field to activate and resolve this effect. When your opponent activates a card effect during the damage step that your Code Talker monster is attacking, you can banish this card from your graveyard to negate the activation, and then get attacking monster gain 700 attack so additional boost but the big play also comes down to not being able to be destroyed by your opponent's card effects so very useful as a continuous trap once you open it up on the field and then the one sign at conflict just as an additional counter trap while you have your monsters for your code talkers and then your opponent cannot activate anything of the same name as that card until the end of next turn limiting them for some of their plays also 
Moving on now to the extra deck for our Code Talker boss monster, the one copy of Access Code Talker, gaining the additional attack for all the different attributes in our graveyard for the link summon that you used for it, depending on its link rating as well, for the monsters used for its summon, targeting that one monster. So if you target a link three monster, it will gain the 3,000 attack. Then being able to banish a link monster from your field or graveyard to destroy one card your opponent controls, depending on the attribute. You can only use it once per attribute, but we have plenty in the deck to use as well in the form of Protect Code Talker for Dark, X Code Talker for Wind, Trans Code Talker for Earth, Shooting Code for Water, and Decode Talker Heat Soul for Fire. With all of these Link 3s available to you and all having varying effects with the multiple attacks with Shooting Code, the Draw Power with Heat Soul, Protect Code for Protection, X Code for Limiting Your Opponent, and Trans Code for Getting Resources Back Onto the Field. With our lower Link Monsters being the one copy of Code Talker, the one copy of Code Talker Inverted, Link 2 Monsters, but also Light and dark attributes so you can use cards like microcoder to then go into one of the monsters giving you the search and then having other search power for that card if you activate your sign at codec on the field to grab an additional card also one copy of link decoder just as a link one monster to summon out as well and then when sent to the graveyard as material for a monster with 2300 more original attack special summoning onto the field but banish it when it leaves the field just so you have one additional monster to work with on the field as well also the one copy of firewall dragon Dark Fluid Neo Tempest Terahertz, the one copy of Firewall Dragon, and the one copy of Cyber Switch and Splash Mage for the rest of the Link Monsters. I don't have Singularity in here. If you wanted to run Singularity, you can take out the Cyber's Reminder. I have the Ixies Monster in here, and the D Save Worm is needed to use with the Fusion Plays for our Cyber Sage. But still, like I said, if you wanted to run Singularity, you can either take out the Reminder or the Neo Tempest Terahertz, both having differing playstyles but I like to keep the Firewall Dragon in to work with our Firewall Defensor engine also. And then as for some of the go-to plays in the deck, as I've mentioned before, the code monsters help so much with the initial setup. So whether you can add one of these cards with just a summon, or even if you go for the Lady Debug play, as I mentioned before, normal summoning out your Lady Debug, giving you the search for your microcoder, means that you can then use this card for a code talker monster to summon out onto the field. So then you can go with Lady Debug and Micro Decoder to then search out and not summon Link Decoder, but your link to monster that you will summon out being your code talker monster onto the field the code talker will be summoned the microcoder will then activate adding to your hand your signet card of choice so if you don't have signet codec you definitely do want to add this one first activating it and then you just need to summon out additional monster for you to continue your link play for that summon if you happen to have parallel C in your hand that'd be your best option because then you could chain the microcoder and the parallel seed giving you the summon of this additional monster in the field, resolving the search, and then being able to activate sign at codec, and then parallel exceed, giving you one additional monster as well on the field for you to summon out, and then being able to use your two monsters to then go into a link three play. Using these monsters, you can then summon out, depending on your card of choice. You could go for transcode talker, because then you can activate your sign at codec, giving you the earth attribute play, and then from there, being able to search out an earth monster, so you can add code generator. You can then use code generator and the other parallel seed to go for the link to summon of your code talker inverted. This will activate sign at codec again. Since you've already done the earth summon, you can then go for a light search in the deck. This could be your balancer lord for that play. If you didn't have the lady debug search as well, that could be your summon there as well. Having that additional search and setup in your hand for you to then summon out. And then with this play of your transcode talker, you can then have the additional summon or you can have the additional play depending on the card in your hand you can activate your code generator when it was sent to the graveyard for the link play sending one additional monster to the graveyard which could be your dot scaper then dot scaper will summon on the field and then from there you can go for one additional link three play this time in the form of whatever you need for the summon it could be your x code talker for the protection and boost setup it could be heat soul for draw you'll get the additional search depending on the 
the one you want to summon as well. So if you go for the Xcode Talker, you'll at least have the code exporter to then search out onto the field. Then you can use the code exporter and the transcode talker to go for another link for play. This one can be your access code for the link three target then to summon out, keeping the attack boost and protection with the Xcode Talker as well. This will give you the dark attribute search once you summon this card out, being able to add your firewall defensor for your search off of this card, just needing that other cyber monster. And then also being able to use your code exporter when it was sent to the graveyard for this card of a code talker monster targeting level four cybers in your graveyard, adding it back to your hand. So depending on what you may have in your graveyard, you can then add that additional monster to her use later on as well. But that is it for the deck profile. I hope you all enjoyed. Like I said, a fun take on some of the newer cards, but they mostly just added support for recovery resource or protection in the deck. But as always, until next time, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and Kira Twig out.